pigmentation and if you have like acne scars or like sun damage and things like that it kind of helps just like brighten it all up um so it's good to use vitamin c in your um skincare regardless but um i've noticed a lot of people will use vitamin c um during their or in their daytime skincare routine um which is usually i've had a couple bottles of this paracone um, vitamin c ester face wash for like a while so that's just kind of what i've been using for like whatever whether it's like daytime or nighttime depending on like what i just i just always use what i have pretty much so if i got to use something that's better to use during the day and night i will or vice versa so i'm not really too picky when it comes to that but um yeah i have heard that vitamin c is better to use during the day and then if you have any like problems um with your skin for example if you're like breaking out um currently then you know use your like acne products like during the night um or if you're a little bit drier then use like heavier products at night just because you're going to be going to sleep um so it makes more sense that you know you might feel like a little bit more like greasy on your face so um it just makes more sense to do that like at night um most people don't want to feel like they have like hella like you know they don't want to feel like all like greasy or like oily like during the day so um, now that I've washed my face, I'll show you guys the exfoliator that I use. I'm not going to use it um, right now because I usually will do that at night, like always. And the one I'm using right now, you're supposed to only use it like two to three times a week. So I'm not going to be using that because I used it the other day. But I'll just show you guys just for the sake of showing you guys. This one right here, it's called the, well, it's by Murad. It's called Pore Rescue Skin Smoothing um, Polish. So this is basically an exfoliator. Um, and then like I said, you only use it two to three times a week and it does feel very like grainy. So it makes sense why you shouldn't like use this too often. But yeah, either way, I wouldn't be using this during the day. I just wanted to show you guys that that would be my next step if this was um, at night. Now that my face is cleansed, I'm going to be going in with the toner. Um, the one that I'm using is the Dermalogica Multi Active Toner. So it's this one right here. people's attention about this one is that 
like the consistency is like thick but it's light like um it doesn't leave your skin feeling super oily or um just super greasy so it's nice because you can use it um i would usually recommend this to people who like oily combo skin people um to use as like a night cream and then um you know to those people who if they're always kind of like if they're just trying to be in a hurry but they still want to make sure they you know moisturize their skin during the day or during the night that you know i would recommend this one as well because um it's, it's light for during the day but you know it's thick enough to where it'll be deep moisture all night long if you wanted to use it um, at night instead another thing you can do or that'll do once in a very while is um, which this is freaking covered in hella oil oil and I think it's like leaking low key but uh, this is like a little Dermalogica jade um, skin tool. I don't know what you would call this but it kind of does the same effect as like a jade roller. Um, so if I'm feeling extra and I'm not how lazy I'll use this to kind of just like push in my products. Um, it will help to kind of like deep up the skin as well but I can just go over it really quickly. I don't really have the patience to be like doing this for like 10 minutes or like however long it is but like people say to do it for them, but yeah, it's kind of the same concept as a jade roller. I just like to kind of focus it like right under my eyes right here and kind of just like lift up and then right on top of my brows. I don't know why, I just feel like I like to do that. Especially because a lot of people will notice like puffiness right under the eyes, so I feel like that's where it makes the biggest difference. Now you can keep going with that and go off and just massage the shit out of your skin if you want to, but that's pretty much what I do. But I'm not going to do anything else. I'm just going to be checking in with you guys, like I said, um, over the next two weeks. And I'm going to be doing the same exact steps that I'm doing, or that I did today. Um, and then kind of see if it makes a difference in my skin. Let me show you guys a little bit of a closer look at how my skin's looking right now too. So, see, it kind of has these really tiny little like bumps. See, and then I have some right here, and like um, this area. And then I will, I notice I have some on my chin too, so I don't know what the heck is going on with that. I'm not even on my period, I'm not about to get my period, so there's really no reason for me to have that. So, I'm really just trying to figure out like, to be doing something extra or if I need to maybe like cut out something um, but yeah maybe my skin is just like having like a weird reaction because I need to be like watching my face twice a day and not just like once so um but yeah I'm gonna check in with you guys tomorrow and then at the end of the week or just throughout the week in general and then we'll see if it makes a difference So today is day three of my morning skincare. I just got done washing my face um, using the same cleanser that I've been using for the past couple days. Um, so since I forgot to do a mask on the first day, I'm gonna do my mask today. So far, I'm still noticing a little bit of texture. It hasn't gone away completely. Um, it is. I don't know if it's maybe from like wearing my mask because I have heard that um, people have been dealing with like getting acne in the places where you usually wear your mask which now that I'm thinking about it that's actually exactly where I'm noticing like all the little bumps. I don't have any place to be today and then I'm not sure if I'm gonna have to go anywhere tomorrow or not but hopefully if I don't go anywhere today or tomorrow, I'll be able to kind of see if um, it goes down um, since I won't have to be wearing my mask. But like I said, since I didn't actually mask like I was going to on, um, you know, day one, um, I'm going to go ahead and do a mask today. <clears throat> so I'm thinking I'll probably do, I would do a detox mask since I am noticing that texture. But since it's in the morning, I don't really feel like 
doing that like intense of a mask right now so i'm just gonna go in with this one um this is by elemis yeah i think that's how you say it it's the superfood vital veggie mask um i got this in my boxy charm a long long time ago but i'm gonna go ahead and use this one because i feel like this one's a little bit more like hydrating um like i said it's not it's just not like as intense as um, my detox mask so i'm gonna go ahead and use that let it sit for maybe like five minutes and then um oh well, it says 10 minutes so i guess i'll leave it on for 10 minutes and then i'm gonna do my regular skincare that i've been showing you guys and then um yeah the next time you guys see me is gonna be on day four This is day four of doing my daytime skincare. I did have another little pimple that popped up right there on my forehead, which I couldn't help myself. I had to pop it as usual. I hate that I'm like that, but I know that's like really bad to do. But it's actually been a few hours since I did my morning skincare. It's actually been like the whole day. Um, I just didn't record at first. But so far, I feel like my texture hasn't gotten worse, but it hasn't necessarily gotten hella better either. Um, but I just kind of wanted to give you guys a little update. I mean, and for the most part, I feel like my skin does look um, pretty bright. I feel like <clears throat> besides those little um, kind of red marks that I have, um, I feel like for the most part, a lot of... My skin just looks very bright in general. Like I don't feel like I don't I have any like super super except like these right here. I don't really have any like super super prominent um acne marks. Um I'm the type of person whenever I do get acne scars, it usually just leaves like a little dark mark. It doesn't usually like it doesn't change like the um how do we say it? I guess like the texture of my skin um i know sometimes when you get like really really bad acne you can actually leave like not just like noticeable like marks visually but you can actually kind of see like an actual like little area of like damage um and, but yeah this is day four um i'm not really i'm not sure if i'm noticing too much of a difference I think if anything, um, my skin just has been feeling really moisturized throughout the day because I've been making sure to moisturize obviously after I wash my face, but I'm not really noticing a huge difference, but we'll see how it looks tomorrow. Hey guys, so this is day five of doing my morning skincare and I haven't actually started yet. This is just my bare skin um, since I woke up. Um, I did wet my face a little bit with water, but, like, that's it. Well, so far, the texture, I feel like, is going away slowly, but I still do have, like, a lot of little bumps on this side. Um, and then I had a couple little bumps right here by my chin. But, my skin, for the most part, is actually looking pretty good. So, I don't know if it's just because I haven't been eating as much junk food, um, by the way, I know I look freaking disgusting. I've literally been wearing the same like two pajama shirts for like the whole week, but that's besides the point right now. <laughs> um, but yeah, so update on that. Um, this side, it is going down a little bit, but there still is a little bit. Um, and then this side is actually clearing up. Um, also, I did mention in my last um, update that I was like outside, so I was wearing my mask. Um, which I was talking to my boyfriend and his brother about it to see if like, um, you know, maybe that was something they were experiencing too. And they said they were actually noticing little bumps on their face from their mask too, which is something I've just been hear hearing in general is like something people have been noticing with their skin. I don't know what that is. I don't even know how that could cause like little like texture or like little like acne bumps or anything just by wearing a mask. I don't know if it's because they like your breathing and it's like trapped and maybe you're like suffocating your like skin or something like i don't know but um anyways i'm gonna go 
go ahead and do my skincare. I don't know if it's necessarily making like a huge difference. Um, one thing I am noticing is these little tiny wrinkles I usually have on my forehead. See how you can kind of see a really fine line. I know it's not too noticeable, but um, that's why I can tell if my skin's dehydrated is if those kind of little lines will like poke out a little bit more. Um, and then if I'm really like taking my time with like massaging my skin, um, like massaging my skincare into my skin, um, that I feel like does make a difference with, um, you know, the hydration of my skin. Um, also, I mean, I do always drink water. Some days I drink way more water than I usually do, but that's all I drink. I don't drink like juice or anything like that, unless it's like a day where I'm, um, you know, drinking like coffee or I get like a boba tea or something, but that's not really like, um, hella regular. So for the most part, I do drink water like all day long. Um, I don't know exactly how much I drink, but, um, just a little side note, I, uh, this is kind of random, but like I actually got this period app, it's called Flow. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard of it, maybe your influ your favorite influencer has like brought it up, but um, I tried it out um, just to kind of like see what's up with that and um, I kind of like how it actually gave you this option on like how you can track how much water you drink in a day, which um, I feel like is kind of interesting, especially if you're trying to like, you know, get into the habit of, um, you know, drinking more water regularly, you can kind of like keep track that way. Um, I think each water bottle you drink, I think is about like 16 ounces. So like you can basically kind of just like keep adding like how much it is after every bottle of water you drink. Um, but yeah, I know that makes a huge difference with your skin. For the most part, I've been sticking to the exact same thing that I showed you guys. The only thing that I did different really was um, my nighttime cleanser. I haven't actually been using this. Um, I'll use one of the two dermatological cleansers I have, and I'll show you guys those right now. Okay, I know this angle is like really awkward, but um, if my skin is breaking out when I'm in the shower, I usually will use this cleanser. So this is the Dermalogica, <coughs> excuse me, clearing skin wash. Um, this one helps for um, if you're breaking out, if you're breaking out really bad, or I usually use this if I'm. Uh, you know, if I'm kind of having that kind of, um, period where, like, if I just happen to have been eating a lot of junk food and my skin is, like, showing, I'll use this. Um, for example, last night, I didn't feel like I really needed that, so, um, and on those days, I would switch to this cleanser, which this is the Dermalogica Ultra Calming Cleanser, which I barely started using recently, and I actually really like this, um, the thing with this one is it's more for sensitive skin, so it doesn't have any fragrance. I'm actually not too sure because it does kind of have a little bit of a lavender smell, but it's supposed to be calming, so if you have like a redness or, you know, maybe you just have like normal skin, you don't need your cleanser to do like anything extra. This is like a good one. I used to like to um, talk to people about this at my old work, um, especially. Um, I feel like this is one of those ones where like if you really have no idea what kind of skin type you have, then, you know, this is kind of like cool for like anybody. Um, I used to tell people at my work, like, if you're pregnant, um, this is, like, a good, um, face wash to bring to the hospital because, um, I don't know what it is about, like, this formula, but I guess if you actually, um, apply a little bit in your hands, um, obviously when you're, like, pregnant and you're in the hospital, like, in labor, you know, you don't like to, you know, you're not really trying to, like, be up, like, washing your face however often you wash your face, so this is something that could kind of come in handy for you, I guess, um, because you actually don't need water. Um, you can actually just go in with it dry on your face and it'll remove makeup and it'll cleanse your skin and then you kind of can just take like a baby wipe or, you know, just some type of like towel or something and just kind of like wipe it away and your skin is like still cleansed. So that's something I actually thought was cool about this one. Um, I feel like I'm literally trying to like sell you guys this, which I'm not. I'm just showing you guys what I use. Um, but yeah, so if I'm breaking out, I use the clearing one and then if my skin is kind of just at its normal state, then I use this one. But that's the only thing different that I've been using besides the products that I showed you guys. But I usually save these for the nighttime, so right now I'm just gonna go in with my vitamin C cleanser and then everything normal just like I showed you guys um, from before. Okay, so I just got done applying all of my products. So this is how my skin is looking. I just kind of wanted to give you guys a little bit of a closer look. I should have taken a picture of how my skin looked before I started, like on day one and then on day like seven. At least you guys will kind of get an idea since I did record a little bit of how my face was looking. I've never actually kept a like 
progression video going this long, so I'm kind of like losing track a little bit, but I want to say this is day five, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, so today is day seven. I accidentally forgot to film yesterday and give you guys a day six update on my skin, which I'm kind of sad about because it kind of just defeated the purpose of doing this whole video, but I'm going to show you guys um, kind of what I'm working with now. Um, I have a little bit of redness because I have nails right now and I just couldn't help myself. I just had to pop my blackheads that I had, which I know is so bad, but I just had to. I could not help it. Of course, I just got done working out, so I'm looking very ratchet, <laughs> but for the most part, um... A lot of the texture I was telling you guys about did actually go away, but yeah, this is my skin at the end of the week. Like I said, those red marks are gonna kind of fade away in a little bit. Um, maybe I'll show you guys once I get out of the shower and I'm about to get myself together really quick. But, um, yeah. So when I got out of this little experiment is that I, I want to say for the most part, I think it actually did make a difference just with like how, um, it just with the overall like appearance of my skin i didn't have any major like breakouts or anything like that except for this right here and this little kind of mark right here um but this sometimes with my skin whenever i do pop out with like some little breakouts i feel like i make them worse because i pop it as soon as like it looks like it's ready to pop be popped which is probably so bad um and then i'm sure it doesn't help like if i have nails on um, but this, these little areas are the only areas where I really broke out. The conclusion that I came to is that, yeah, for the most part, it does actually help. Um, I mean, I think, I don't think it's like super, super necessary, but I did notice, um, especially with kind of what I was like experiencing, that um, after the past week of doing morning skincare and nighttime skincare, um, I can tell my skin is like trying to heal, like it's trying to go back to normal, but it just sucks like because every time I go out somewhere I just can't really give it that chance to like completely go away because I always have to wear a mask. But obviously like I said, that's like something I can't control, so it's whatever. It's better than having like, it just it could, it could be worse. But yeah, so if you guys are looking to start doing um, morning skincare or if you're like me and you uh, do nighttime skincare but you never kind of just do like the bare minimum in the morning i would suggest if you have the extra skincare like that or you have um the money to um do it then i'd say do it i don't think it like hurts you i think if anything it only like helps but like i said i don't think it's like super serious so if you're kind of concerned about just like going out and buying like a whole nother like skin regimen and you just don't want to do that then i'd say don't worry about it because it's you know, as long as you're doing your nighttime skincare and you at least put on an SPF and a moisturizer in the morning, um, I think you'll be fine. I mean, give or take, I understand, like, everybody has different skin types, but that's pretty much what I got out of this little experiment. So, um, if you guys enjoyed or if you guys learned something maybe from this video, maybe I saved you some time if this was something you guys were wondering about, if it would, like, benefit you, um, you know, let me know by dropping a like on this video and leaving a comment and letting me know if you tried it out and, you know, um, how it worked out for you. Um, of course, everybody's different, but, you know, like I said, this is something that I was always kind of, like, curious about because I would see a lot of people, um, doing it, but I just never thought to do it myself. I don't know if it's because I was just under the impression that, like, it's bad to wash your face too much, but, um... But yeah, so yeah, if you guys um, enjoy watching these types of videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel so that way you guys can, um, you know, keep up with all my videos and also turn on your post notifications so that way you guys get notified when my videos go up. Um, also, I am trying to get on a schedule since I have time now, so I'm looking to post on Mondays, Wednesdays, and um, Saturday. So, if you guys have any videos, like video ideas, or anything in particular you guys want to see, um, whether it's like skincare or um, just like a talking video or a haul or any 
maybe even anything I've been doing that's been like new on my channel lately, just let me know if you guys like to see those videos or if you guys have any suggestions. Um, as you guys know, I haven't been doing YouTube for that long. So, you know, I post what I like, but I would appreciate like feedback or if you guys just have any ideas or anything that you guys would want to see, you know, just let me know so that way I can start taking notes and I can start, you know, doing what you guys want to see. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.